what's going on you guys today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install LSPDFR I already have it installed in my game because of backup reasons because that's the only reason I use it but I'm going to show you guys how to install it um, there's been a couple of errors and stuff and if I get any errors we're going to all work through this together alright so let's get to it first of all go to the browser of your choice we're going to go to LSPDFR.com it's gonna bring you here then you're gonna to go to downloads All right, and then you're gonna click on LSPDFR again then you're gonna click on LSPDFR again then you're gonna go right down here and hit download this file agree and then you're gonna see the different versions I personally myself always get the automatic installer okay <laughs> type in your code And it should download somewhere there you go so now once that finishes you're gonna go ahead and open it up we're gonna minimize this just in case we need it again you're just gonna double click on it sometimes guys it's gonna take a little minute to pop up sometimes it don't it really depends LSPDR LF blah, 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 LSPDFR's installer takes a little minute and I noticed that you know so let's try it again there she go No, select the language. All right, hit next. Agree. All of this, you're fine. Next. But you're gonna find your Grand Theft Auto. Normally, they already have it selected. That's my location for my GTA right there. Install see that launch LSPDFR first time responder configurator cool it's gonna do that a box gonna pop up you gonna hit next show license is it basically making sure that you read this shit hit accept you're gonna click do it for me And you're gonna hit save. Let me see, and then once you do that, another box should pop up. But if it doesn't, don't worry. This is where I need everybody to focus on. Because sometimes that stuff isn't gonna pop up. You're gonna go to your um you're gonna go to your folder where GTA is installed, right? And you're gonna see LSPDFR somewhere in here. Ah, right, here you go. Rage plug, rage plugin hook. Exe. You're gonna click on it. Go ahead and double click on it. It's gonna check and make sure you got all of this stuff. If you got all that stuff, you won't see an X. If you don't, it's gonna tell you how to fix it. Now it's telling me my game version is not supported or whatnot. Okay now this is where this website here comes into play because you need another rage plug and hook that's what that is so you're going to come here you copy to what i just copied you're going to hit enter accept go to downloads and then you're going to look up here for the most recent if you can latest game patch is 
Okay, so they they have one for the latest game patch that's up here somewhere. I don't know if it's for this. Okay, it might be for this one right here. All you need to do, hold on, let me see. Yeah, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download it. And I'm gonna grab everything that's in here. Now, sometimes they tell you not to grab everything. Put everything in the game folder except SDK and license folder. Okay. All right, so everything in here except SDK. All right. Bring up your GTA folder. Grab this. Drop. Replace. All right. Oh, hold on. Let's exit this out. Let's exit that out right quick. Try again. There we go. Now, yeah, make sure you don't have your folder open <laughs> like I did. All right. Now, all you have to do, let's try this again. I'm going to take you to the bullshit again. Making sure that you got this or making sure you got that. Blah, 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 blah. Except first time initializing it's gonna check all that stuff again there you go then it's gonna tell you all right now you said now see it says that there's using a new format for backup cache to improve speeds when converting with your backup cache is the old format would you like to convert it now that's if uh sand of gta comes out with an update that's what this is for this is what i use this stuff for but you can go ahead and fuck with it if you like. It doesn't it doesn't harm nothing. Go ahead and say you're a backup just in case oh another update comes out and you like, oh, I can't play my LSPDFR no more. Oh my god, what I'm gonna do. You can go ahead and restart from your backup. See what I'm saying guys? This stuff is easy. I don't know how long it normally takes to convert these files over. I remember one time I was waiting for a while, so I should have not did that. Okay, I think it's about to, I think it's going to actually zoom through it. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, now that it's done. Now we're going to minimize this just in case we need it again. click yeah just so it can do, do what it gotta do now it's storing the backup and it's doing everything through the social club like this this is a real for all the guys that don't know how to save their game back up this is a real good tip like for real Now that it's all done, shows you your plugins folder right here. You know that all your plugins for LSPDR for go is in there or whatever the case is. You're just checking to make sure everything is good, how everything looks. Then you're gonna hit save and launch. Oh okay. Whatever. And now she's gonna launch up. And just to show you guys that I'm actually is launching my game via Steam or whatever the case is. Like I said guys, this is it really works out real pretty well, you know. Let's go ahead and we're going in the game now. Damn, this is good. 
I'm sorry guys, the headphones sound so damn good.